Hello, doctor. Ooh, where you at? Nice white shirt. All right. What's happening, y'all? John Baptiste here, and these are my essentials. Man, my life has been very blessed. I have seen people from all walks of life and realized that, just like, you know, when you watch Forrest Gump, he just will run across all these historic moments. I wanted to document it. These cameras are special because you can take a photo and document the moment and give it to the person. And I just have, over the last few years, so many incredible moments captured with this camera and a few others. I just felt like I need to be capturing this stuff. I feel like Forrest Gump. I feel like Gump in this mug. When I was a kid growing up, we have all these photos. And you know, after Hurricane Katrina, we lost a lot of pictures. This life is so fleeting, right? And you get to these moments where you can see things that were important to you in a picture. And it just brings you to a perspective of how special it is to be here. See, it's coming together, see it? Man, it's coming together. I'm a gamer, fully, through and through. You ever play games? Ever since I was a kid, I played games, and when this came out, the Super Nintendo Mini, I was so happy. You, you have games that are built into the system and you can take it with you anywhere, and just with an HDMI cable, you can plug it into the TV. I got like 15, 20 games from my childhood right here. Now, NBA 2K, you can't hold me on this. I'm fire on this game. I'm an expert. I got a degree in this game. I'm probably as good at this as I am at piano. I play with the Bulls, you know, <laughs> the legacy teams. So I just like to shut shut down sometimes and zone in. Life is, 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 is very, very full. And sometimes I like to shut off my brain, shut it off, not, com not completely, but just to, to get to a point where you are connected to a fantasy realm and you're controlling this avatar and you're in this other world for a minute and you can just explore things and, and be a superhero, be Anthony Davis, <laughs> LeBron. And I must say on the record, the greatest game ever made, they did a remake on the PS4, Final Fantasy VII. I could cry thinking about that game. Video games, super essential. Insoles, very, very essential. You see, I'm a dancer, I'm a performer, and when I go out and I dance for hours, my feet, because they're particularly flat, need extra support. These are comfort fit insoles. They were custom molded to my foot. And I've been wearing insoles since I was a teenager. I would be very embarrassed when I was a teenager and I had to wear these insoles. But I've come to love these. These are the kind of things that I put in my, my Jordans, which I think, you know, these shoes are probably my most frequented shoes. I feel like they're some of the most comfortable, versatile shoes ever made. And when you put these together, for me, John Baptiste, we feeling good down there. Yeah, it's GQ, so we gotta talk about clothing. This first piece is a wonderful pair of sweat pants. This is by one of my favorite brands, Roan. They really know how to make stuff that just feels so comfortable that you never want to take it off. And it looks great. So when you wear it for days on end, it doesn't look crusty. It doesn't look like, ooh, boy, better take that thing off. If I go on the road, sometimes if I'm going overseas and I can go for weeks at a time with just a carry-on bag, and in that bag, it'll be probably like five, six pairs of these. And this is the other thing, any form of letterman. This is like a coach letterman type jacket. And the combination of this with any old generic hoodie, almost year round, I'm, I'm in this. When you put these together, this situation is John Baptiste. This is me. I, and, and with the J's and the insoles from earlier and the head scarf, <laughs> sometimes I throw a grill in there, that's it. That's literally it. And then uh, 
These are the grills that go with the uniform. These are some of the grills that I have. They, they really are actual gold and actual diamonds in it. I got recommended to this place by ASAP Rocky. I like to do offset, like the fangs, yeah. like these right here, because the energy of that is, is, is like, is he ratchet? Is he that guy? You don't know if he have it in from afar. It's like, what's happening with that? So yeah, I like that. I like that kind of energy. Uh. Oh, bean life. The bean life. Bananin, benin. Bean. This is a can of red kidney beans, which I consider to be the best bean in the world. We grew up in New Orleans eating beans every Monday as a tradition. People from the know, you know, that beans on Mondays are a tradition that we can never forsake. Let me just give you a cooking lesson real quick. The holy trinity of cooking, Cajun cooking, is you gotta have your onion, your celery stalk, and your green peppers. You mix it all together, you get, get a little olive oil, you can add all kind of other things, you can add your broths to it, some seasons. You know, I got all kind of seasonings that are, are, are special recipe I can't tell you, but you can get some Cajun seasoning somewhere, the generic could do you good for now. You, you put all of that in the pot with your beans. You mix it all together, you cook it, let it, let it be on the, on the boil for about a good eight hours. Once you have your beans prepared, you can eat your beans all throughout the winter season that's coming up. You can eat your beans on Mondays to follow the tradition of New Orleans. You can eat your beans anytime that you want a snack. You can have them on the side of stuff. You can make a bean stew. You can have beans and rice, which is what I love to make. I take this on the road with me wherever I go and love to make these in um, many forms. All right, so this is a uh, show day tour. Travel day essentials. Dressing room essentials. John Baptiste care package right here for anybody who wants to get me something for Christmas. This is what I consider to be what I need in order to feel like I'm ready to hit the stage. Even more so than wardrobe, even sometimes more so than knowing what instrument I'm gonna be playing. These things are, are throat coat. I preach a lot in the show, I sing a lot in the show. There's so much that's happening when um, you use your voice like that, that you can't control. When the spirit moves, you're just as going. You, ain't, you can't do nothing about it. You gotta preemptively protect your voice. And in that tradition, the Grethers Pastilles, a great way to lubricate the, the voice, the throat. You just put it under your tongue, tastes good. It's really nice, it's, I, I would literally, eat this like candy if you don't want to, if you're not a singer, or you're not somebody who use your voice a lot, just get these just cause it tastes good. <laughs> Manuka honey, it's not even about a brand. This is from Whole Foods, just Manuka honey. The healing properties of honey. When you put that honey on your throat, Mavis Staples, one of the great artists, civil rights activists, she said the, the, the Manuka honey, that's, that's what she uses. And she's still up there singing and, and killing it. This is lip balm. This is like what it sound like. <laughs> you put it on your lips. I have some beautiful black man lips. So for me, when I have my lips chapped, I just don't feel right. I need balm. So there's that. <laughs> and then, then, you know, this on the days before the show, I like to wrap my hair off. I'm rehearsing and I'm, we're, we're getting a routine together, the choreography. I like to not sweat my eyes out. And this is just a, a thing I, I usually do on Sundays. In fact, when we were in the deep part of the lockdown, everybody was locked down at home, I would do the dance with Johns on Sundays on my Instagram. And I would dance with people from all over the world for hours at a time. And I would just have my head wrapped because the sweat coming down into your eyes, you'd be on, on your live and you look like you've been um, doing an L. I don't smoke, by the way, I don't endorse that for, for the kids watching. And then basically a foam roller. You can get any kind of generic foam roller. I'm just like trying to stay loose and stay in flow state all the time. So you gotta roll it out. Oh! So I'm one of those dudes. I like to read a few things at the same time. I'm a very associative thinker. I like things that falling into the other pot and then you see what you're cooking. 
later on when you make the connections yourself, the subconscious is always working. And I'm writing a symphony that's gonna premiere next year at Carnegie Hall. It's a very big deal for me because it's, it's, it's over 200 musicians. It's not just the orchestra. It's the first black orchestra featured at Carnegie Hall in the history. It's marching band and chorus and my band and I'm conducting and I'm playing. And the symphony's called American Symphony. So right now, this is what I'm dealing with. So this book by Howard Zinn is something that I'm reading right now as I'm editing and finishing the piece. It's a, a favorite of mine, A People's History of the United States, 1492 to the present. And just the perspective, whether you agree with his perspective or not, just his way of telling the story and conceptualizing it, and the people that he remembers in the story that aren't often remembered is very inspiring when trying to conceptualize a piece like the one that I'm composing. Prince, this is about his process. I got a chance to meet Prince and play with him when I was 19. Ever since then, I always have been enamored with his process. You know, him as an artist, him as a performer, it's all great, obviously, but the process is really interesting. When you're in your own process, I like to take things that I like from other people's process and, you know, leave the things I don't like, but in leaving, you define yourself. And then, this is another book about process, process of film scoring. When you're talking about orchestra, you're talking about film scoring, and I will say that this by Earl Hagen is one of the definitive books for anybody, whether you want to be a composer for films, you want to work in orchestras, you want to work developing themes. Then this is, they're like five composers who, when I'm working on something or when I'm just looking for inspiration, I'm playing their music or I'm listening to their music. Beethoven is one of them. This is a book of some of his sonatas. You know, if you come to a show of mine, or if you see me sometime around the piano, I'm liable to play one of these five composers, including Beethoven, just messing around with it, taking it apart, putting it back together, finding ways to just like figure it out and get to know these people better because they're not around, but I believe we are with them when we play their music. So speaking of music, this is my next essential. And you may have seen me play it before. Goes by many names, melodica, melody horn, harmonica board. That's what I like to call it, harmonica and a keyboard put together. It's one of my favorite things because it can go anywhere that I go. I can't take my piano with me everywhere, but I can take this with me, and it's one of those things that I've done for many years. Even when I was first coming into New York as a teenager and moving around the subway, I would play it. And people would start seeing me on the subway and they would recognize me for, for being the kid that's blowing that thing that they want me to stop playing. <laughs> And then things changed and they were like, can you play it? And then, now I'm playing it on TV. I just like how averse to pomposity it is. It's a kid's toy. And it's not meant to be played like a serious instrument, but. I think the phone is it because, man, Steve Jobs, wow. I don't, I don't really use a laptop anymore. I don't really mess with email. If I didn't have this phone, I probably would be unreachable. <laughs> you can go and listen to or research or basically consume anything at any time. It's crazy. It's addictive as well. So I would advise also having time where you don't have it, but it's essential when you need it. That was it, everybody. It's John Baptiste. Thank y'all for letting me share my essentials with you. I'll see you down the road, maybe at Carnegie Hall, if you practice, practice, practice.